could get rid of the duplicates because this does strength and that's life. Um, yeah, we'll get rid of the extra of those. Rid of the extra, we're keeping one of those. We've got an extra of that. Um, I have an extra of that. And so far, let's put the smushies together. Um, I'm happily receiving my pats. There's this one from, from another stream I used to go to. Um, I said we joked around a lot and kept saying it was just a knockoff version of me and rolled with the jokes. That's the time he played a lot, but just trying to, was that resave my chat, but alter it a bit? But most of the time he played. Uh, Phoenix is sneezing in the background if anybody's wondering what that noise is. Um, so he basically like played with your chat and kind of like, you know, worked with it kind of thing. That's not bad. I don't know. I haven't really had any kind of scenarios yet because like I only know like a few streamers and the, the other streamers that I watch, I don't really know. Um, so when I'm like watching streamers and stuff, I tend to find like I'm not really bantering with really any of their community directly, except for maybe uh, Zephora. When I'm in her chat, um, one of her members, who I think has like become one of her best mates and stuff, I wouldn't say like her best mate per se, but like a good friend. Um, he almost always like gives me a fucking uh, gift sub and shit and says hello and stuff. So it's really nice. Um, I appreciate that shit. But um, yeah, apart from him, like I know a couple of other like super regulars, but I don't really know anybody else. And the thing is, because like I haven't really had any experience with like social medias and Twitch and stuff like that before streaming, I have no concept of like unspoken rules and shit that may exist in the realm of like, you know, um, streaming and social medias and stuff so like for instance if a creator does or a streamer or something does like a i don't know like a twitter post or something like that i'll normally like if i want to comment on it i'm gonna fucking comment on it like it doesn't matter how huge of a streamer they are if i like something they've said or posted or something like that like i'll just do so because yeah that's who i am and what i'll do i didn't think i came down from here so it's odd that that's open but yeah, sometimes I think it's like, it must be really weird because I'm some random person that's like come in and said something, but I think that's like kind of to be expected with this stuff. Um, I don't know. Sometimes I sit there and I'm like, maybe I'm not supposed to like, oh, that's the waypoint, have like a conversation with a random person or something. But yeah, I don't know. Um, let's see, tail stops whacking, falls asleep, something wolf plush. Feeling exhausted. Like and me too. I have to admit that when you kept falling asleep last night, I it was making me so fucking tired. I, I almost couldn't. I ended up finishing the stream um way early. Because I was like, if I can kept falling asleep, which was making me sleepy while I was really tired, and then on top of that, like chat died down at one point, like it was just like almost nobody was talking and I was just I so tired, I just couldn't. I figured I was going to fall asleep. I'm like, the last thing I need is to fall asleep at my desk while I'm live and just sit here, like, snoring point blank to my mic. I'm like, nobody needs that. Somebody's into it, but nobody needs that. <laughs> you know? Um, everybody's into something, and I'm sure there's somebody for that. Um, but, yeah, I didn't really want to do that, so I just ended stream earlier. What do you know? One that's not booby-trapped. Is that playing along with... Uh, what was that? Playing along with what I said, he would copy but alter the words a bit, given the vibe that he is also a knockoff version of times. Oh yeah, no, that makes a little bit more sense. Um, it's kind of like how, like, Moist Critical, it's funny. So when Nick was, like, originally watching Moist Critical and I hadn't, like, really seen too much of his stuff, I'd, I'd be like... I didn't know his name and I didn't know his channel name and so I just kept referring to him as like a uh, wish version of Jesus you know when like wish um you know the like Alibaba kind of but cheaper store kind of came out on the internet it's like I think it's now replaced by like Temu or something 
So you know all the, all the like the cheapy kind of like get your knockoffs here kind of places, right? So I was always like, he's like the wish version of Jesus. I like he looks so anymore. similar, <laughs> at least to me with like how I perceive faces and shit. But yeah, I'm like he's he's clearly like so similar, and yeah, he's uh, he's just like the knockoff version, the cheap version kind of thing. And I just remember sometimes like saying that, and Nick's just like, what? <laughs> Until he kind of got it, until he kind of started to see what I saw. I was trying to see if I could fit this around here. I guess I could if I moved that out of there. Just got to kind of shuffle some stuff a little bit. I'll put that there. There we go. I did this one other time and I went back with more space and I realized I could do that. I mean, there is a accurate description of me. Oh, you keep saying oh, asshole though, Grim. And I don't agree. Um, I think you're kind of too nice to be that. I know that that's what, like, you go by. Um, I don't know. Let's see. I've got, I think I've still got stuff on my thing. -o. Punish for life, light radius. Light radius would mean a lot more to me if, like, I don't know, if it was, like, in, in the old graphics. If it was, if I was running around more in this, a lot of, like, the dark areas are really dark. But yeah, it seems so bright now, I don't have to really worry about it. I'm pretty sure I have a spare ruby. I was just playing with those, so... Should have also gone in here while I was doing that, but whatever. Let's see. It's normal. Normal battle bow. I'm hoping to find some upgraded stuff eventually. That'd be nice. Ah. Okay. I feel like every time I come back, I'm supposed to be picking something up. I mean, it does look like... <laughs> it does look like a wish Jesus. Yeah. Also, I like the Jeebus fucking reference too. There's not enough people out there that know like the the Jeebus Simpsons thing. That is actually how like most of my family refer to like it as well. Because like, as I've said before, like I'm not religious. That's why like, apart from the fact that like I respect the fact that people do have religion and shit and um, find comfort in it and stuff. Like we don't talk about religion here and shit. But um... Yeah, whenever we used to watch, like, Simpsons in my family, we used to kind of, like, uh, refer to it like that. Plus, there's also, like, a few uh, people around here that do very specific Christmas light displays. Um, and they literally have, like, big in-light signage um, for, like, Jesus' birthday and stuff. And, like, I know it sound like I was, like, giggling a little bit then, but it's really, if you could see it in person, you'd understand more, like, why it's kind of humorous. Because it's really hard to tell if they're being serious or not. Um, I assume that they have to be because of the amount of effort that they put in with their displays. Like, I have to assume that they are. Even that, they really just fucking like like light displays and stuff, and wanted some excuse, like some loophole or something, to kind of like participate in like the non-religious aspect of it, of like Christmas and shit. I don't know. It's just thoughts. Um. Also, I think like this area being like raining all the time. Also, for some reason, it sounded like it was raining earlier today, but it wasn't fucking raining. It was such a fucking fail. I don't know what the weather thought it was doing. Sure as fuck wasn't raining, I'll tell you that much. I've got like some trees and stuff that I think are intersecting with my like roof perhaps and or gutters or something or the fence. I'm not sure what they're touching but every so often if the breeze moves in like the right way it sounds like rain and it's a really really big fake out and I hate it. Because I'm like, I'm laying there and I'm like, oh, it's raining. And I'm like, oh, it's wonderful. It's dark and it's like possibly raining. And then, no, it's not. It's literally just uh, some bushes doing some things. Fucking bushes. All right. So I've been up here. I don't know. It's questionable. I mean, some people go through a lot of, a lot what effects for jokes. So I can't say, yeah, that's it. That's what I sort of mean. Like, I can't tell if they're like being serious or if they're um, seriously playing kind of thing. There's another sewers. I don't have to go down here, do I? Pleasure claims fail in Travacol, beware of the High Council. 
I guess I'll have to go down the sewers because I'm going everywhere anyway, so it's fine. I'll go down there later once I've like mapped this out. I gotta admit, sometimes I don't feel like going every single space on the map, but I'm still gonna fucking do it. Like, just because I don't feel like it tonight doesn't mean I'm not going to be mad when it's not filled in next week. <laughs> These are the unrealistic standards I have for playing Diablo. Is that everywhere gets explored regardless of if it's, like, got any purpose. Oh, I missed the skeleton. Yeah. And I pick up everything just out of, like, I don't know, because I want to. Plus, it also gives my character money. It gives me money towards all the shit that I like to, like, gamble for good stuff. Which I, I haven't really done too much in this playthrough, to be fair. Usually I do a lot more like rolling for like better stuff. But, like I've got like the shittiest boots and all sorts of stuff so far and I'm not really getting too far with gear. It's fine, we'll get there eventually. Maybe. Oh, I should be able to pick that up now. I should also have a full inventory I think. Uh, I missed something over there too by the look of it. That, that's almost full. I can probably work with this. I can pick up these boots. Oh, gloves, sorry. Fuck me. I can't even tell what the fuck I'm supposed to be picking up. Alright, yeah, I won't be able to pick up these. There's like a helmet of stuff, so I'll go back. I think I'm gonna head off and play some Kenshi. It's like Grimwild. I do like to stress myself out. These boots. Oh, Grim. Look, yes. just remember to get some sleep. Because I know, like, Hello. when you get into some games and stuff, it just goes for ages. I do remember to, like, rest a bit. But, yeah. Um, my birthday stream tomorrow night is starting at the regular time I would normally be streaming. The only real change is that it's, um, Seven Days to Die instead of PUBG, and it's, um, going till 3 a.m. instead of 1 a.m. That's really all the changes there are. It's a it's a pretty easy one this time. It's usually on my birthday streams and shit I start earlier. Last time I started earlier. But yeah, I've kept it same this time. It's a great. I won't be able to sleep since you said that. It'd be fine. I figure knowing you, Grim, you're either going to get lost in the game and play up until stream tomorrow night. Or or You'll get so tired and you'll pass out and you'll go to sleep and you'll barely wake up in time for stream. But just so you know, like, you don't have to be there right when it starts. If you're, like, still asleep or you're, like, getting getting awake, getting a coffee and stuff, like, there's no pressure. I'll be, I'll be there. Um, thank you for the stretch and hydrate posture. Um, Rin, I was, like, not sitting fully, like, straight, but I wasn't prawning, though. It was actually a really good time for a reminder to breathe. I just like yawned so badly. Alright, hold on. I'll do some breathing. I've stretched, by the way. How you doing, Rin? You, um. I know last time we were chatting, I know I was really tired, so I could barely remember what the fuck we're on about. But I know you're back home. I just can't remember what the fuck we were talking about. Um, that's almost full. No breathing is important. Look, I know it does sound like I don't breathe in between conversations. We used to have this um, running theory, like, um, oh, shit. Not, not so much like a theory, but there was speculation that I didn't need oxygen because I was able to just talk nonstop. And the fact is that I can talk both exhaling and inhaling. So I don't really need to worry about that um, as much as like everybody else for some fucking reason that's a skill that I have. Um, no worries Grim, stop looking at my horse so please. Like it doesn't need that. I can fit most of this in here actually if I do this right. Is it Grim looking at everything that moves now? Yeah basically. That's basically what's happened. Grim's like moved on from the prawn and he's now like licking anything that moves. So I mean you're warned. If you happen to move and he licks you, you know what happened. You know what you did. <laughs> um, yeah, Methless, it's kind of the appropriate response to licking stuff. Honestly, the horse one, though, I do find this pretty funny. Because, like, 
Rim will have remembered that I used to have the look at my horse song play when I was playing Rimworld. The idea was that if you happen to spot an orange horse, you would activate the um, look at my horse uh, tune to play. And I ended up removing it uh, at some point. I traded it for some other thing that I put in place instead. I think it was cheese. Because I only have like so many uh, sound alert spots that I can use, right? So yeah, I chose cheese and it's been there since. That looks like somewhere I'm supposed to go. But uh, yeah, Grim greatly misses it. Is it fine? I'll stop licking the horse then. Don't lick me. Grim, don't lick me. I don't need a bath. If I need a bath, I'll just sit in front of the cats and I don't know, rest them a little bit. We'll do it. We'll get it done. Yeah, these are the stairs. It's supposed to go down when you click on it, right? The last time it just took me straight into place. I will go down there and there's like a whole bunch of sewers and shit here. So I guess I'll have to go through there. The poor moves while asleep. Oh, Vikings. Vikings like all kinds of asleep at the moment. He basically nearly put me asleep yesterday, unfortunately. I was really tired. Mind you, RimWorld was just being a dick. It's being, um, being challenging because the update. But we all kind of knew that we were going to have problems with it. The fact that Asura is still alive is just fucking magical in itself. Plus, I do like the new location. I'm just fucking up 10 hours. And I was fucking around with that location. I needed sleep. I am over. Uh, I don't have room for. I do. I do. I do have room for at least that. And I could take this back, maybe. Hold on. Those couple of things identified. Hold. Put that out there. Put that there. Put that there. There we go. Fucking efficient as shit. Alright, let's go back. Um, no, I'm not waiting for much. What? Uh, horses less sus than prawn. Look, I think it's all about how I say it, honestly. Because, like, you know, licking my horse isn't nearly as, like, dirty sounding as licking my prawn is. Like, I think we can all agree on that. <laughs> It was mostly how I responded to it initially, I believe. That's how it that's how it all started. Um Alright, what did you say? Was I'm not waiting for my trip to London. Um You're not waiting. I mean you're not waiting. It scratches Viking behind the ears while he sleeps. Yeah, you can't do anything about that while he's asleep, mirthless. That's probably the best thing. If you want, you can like literally like lay up against him and stuff and just like sit and chill and like whoosh, you know. Because he's like a big fluffy pillow. That was the hardest part about yesterday was I had this giant fluff ball of a wolf next to me. I was tired. I'm like, how can I not be tired next to a sleeping wolf? Oh, that's a charm too. I like charms. As I'm going to my younger sis and uh, last time when I was with her in Rome, uh... Was it in four, what, four B-days I walked around, oh, four days, I walked around 150 kilometers. Holy shit. There's another set of stairs in here too. That's a hell of a long distance. Um, I, I know obviously if you like, you go slow and you pace yourself and shit, like it's not too bad, but still, that's a fuck ton of walking. There's a prawn is sus no matter what. Prawns are always sus. I'm thinking that like there's something special up there, but I'm gonna go down these stairs and find out what's down there. Then I've gotta go down the sewers and I guess the other set of these stairs too, I guess. I've gotten reliquary? I'm gonna assume that's what that said. I'm assuming that's what it said. Um Yeah, no, pretty much like the most I've done, like walking wise, like obviously like I used to do like a lot of walking regularly. I used to do uh, 7.4 kilometer walks like daily back before I had like all my injuries and health conditions and shit start up, right? So, like, I used to do a lot of walking. Oh, this guy's pretty cool. Um, but like, the most I ever did in like the one day, because like, I, there's no way I could compare to that. I don't do like any hiking or anything like that, was that one of my friends. One of my friends was like staying over and she forgot her pillow back home and we decided to walk to her house and it was like 30 kilometers so that was that was probably the furthest we went um but i also 
I also happened to not really wear appropriate clothing for that particular walk, and I ended up wearing the uh, skin off my inner thighs. So I lost, like, basically the sensation of, like, nerve endings and shit on my, like, inner thighs for, like, many years. Um, but yeah, them thick thighs, you know, always good. But uh, they come with costs, come with drawbacks. I don't know what just dropped then. Oh, it's a knife. I can't even see that. All right, what have I got? Have I got it in? I didn't want to drink that. I just clicked on it as all. But yeah, I don't know. That's pretty much the worst I've done for like walking stuff, but I don't really enjoy kind of going for like lots of walks. Like I don't mind walking at night in winter and stuff. That's kind of pleasant because it's crisp and it's cool and stuff. Um, and it's very hard to kind of like work up a sweat when you're kind of like walking in refrigeration kind of temperatures. But aside from that, yeah, no, I'm a hard pass on fucking going for a walk anyway. Um, oh my chick fucking leveled up. Nice, good for her. They used to go to those events where they walk a lot. Uh, my best was a 100km walk in a day. I remember hearing about those. I thought that they I were like super it. interesting the first time I heard about them until I realised that it's like you weren't allowed to stop. Like, there was like some really big walk event thing where you're supposed to like even go overnight and stuff until like you finish and shit. And I'm like, fuck that. <laughs> Like, I don't mind walking, but I don't like walking that much. Yes. I, I like walking in the sense that it's a very easy cardio exercise. As much as I loved weightlifting and stuff, I hate cardio stuff. So walking was the only thing I'd pass up and kind of like do passively. But I actually really liked like bike riding and shit. Um, I just, oops, I didn't have a bike as an adult. So there was that. <laughs> Hey Frosky, welcome in. Um, how you doing? Hey Ben, I feel like that's the first time you've like uh, said you know good morning. Um, maximum damage adds cold damage. I could keep that. I could see if I could keep that. I didn't finish reading what you said, but sadly I had to stop because after military, my knee can't take much load anymore. That is also the hardest part about like growing older too. Uh, nobody really actually ever fucking speaks about is the fact that like as you get older like the stuff that you've done over the years of like heightened activity and shit can come back to absolutely just like cripple you and your like future endeavors and shit really frustrating because like knees um fucking not knees nick's got it with his knees that's that's what i was trying to say <laughs> he um used to do a lot of soccer and cycling when he was young and surfing too so between all that um his knees are kind of cactus which is not really fair because now obviously as like a an adult like there's a good chance he's probably going to need to get like a knee replacement or something but i think that's also genetic in his family too because like a lot of his like um older relatives and stuff have got pretty fucked up knees so i do think that that's also just like he had weaker knees to begin with then other people and he just chose to still do the sports. I was trying not to get poisoned then. This is very much reminds me of was that MU hobby game with this layout and everything. Um yeah no this is this is Diablo 2 but this is uh resurrected so this is what it normally would look like and honestly I played the shit out of this like this um for a long time and I love it. I think it's fantastic but because i'm streaming it and because um somebody gifted me this hey don't you fucking rack on it diablo 2 is my favorite game um but yeah because obviously like i've got a chance to play this with the better graphics and all that stuff like yeah obviously i'm gonna like play it but if if nobody was watching me i'd just be running around with this i got no problem with this but the other thing too is it's got like a whole bunch of cinematics. Is this where the rest of them went? You gotta be fucking kidding me that the whole sewers was not just the lower crust, but it was upper crust too? Fuck that. Alright, a good thing is I don't have to go through the sewers here, but I still have to go into that place. That's wild. That's so wild. Um. Oh, oh sweet. Does that mean when you get better graphics you can't say 
worth graphics are better. You can if it's got nostalgia lenses on. <laughs> yes, you can. Because <laughs> trust me, I am, I'm good with this. Like the sounds and like the darkness and like just the details, the visuals back on all this and like the, even just the sound effects and stuff in here are so good. Like look how that fire looks. Like fire effects used to be so great. Like look at that. Yeah, smack this guy. Like even electricity and stuff, so good. So like now the fire just looks like generic fire, you know? Um, it's, sorry, I wanted to rag on it as if it was like the most basic thing. It's like, oh, it's so generic. It's so fire. It's just, you know. <laughs> but yeah, the big thing for me with Diablo is the sound effects. So like um, dropping money. I have a drop just listeners oh that little noise you know and the charms i love the sound of the charms but the sound of all this stuff it doesn't translate into any of the newer games and the thing is like a lot of the games that had like uglier graphics or like old rustic kind of graphics like diablo has more like rustic kind of graphics of its time like the game itself is really good so it kind of always made up for that it didn't have to be like this kind of super pretty thing, but I liked Diablo. I like a lot of what it is in the first place, so yeah. It's not like that's an issue to me. I agree because I love, what is it? I love Need for Speed series, like Most Wanted, Underground, etc., but all the new ones are shit. Yes, I agree with that too. I have, oh shit, fuck, I nearly died then. I've had a few people ask me about playing like newer versions of Need for Speed and other kind of like car games and stuff like that. And the thing is, like, I've, as I was saying earlier, there's like a few elements of like realism that they've brought in, I can't like, that I just don't enjoy. Like, the older games, knowing that if I smack into a wall, like, my car's not really going to take damage, you know. Uh, let's see if I could take something small. I guess just coins. Um, as opposed to like in New for Speed Underground 2, I can smack into all the walls and drive around upside down if I really want to, and I'm still good for the next race. Like, it's fine. Um, the mechanics of the game are good, but they're also kind of nicely fantasy in a way as well. Like, Diablo is really nice in that it had a story. It had depth to it. It had lasting depth to it at that. Like, I'm playing this now, and the best part about it is the fact that Resurrected is allowing me to experience the game all over again as if I've never played a single Diablo before. And it's amazing. Um, like, I already love Diablo 2, right? I know I'm going to like it. I know I'm playing it and enjoying it and stuff, right? But the thing is, like... With the newer Diablos, I have no attachment. I don't enjoy any of it. Like, I played the game, played it through, done all the things. I have no desire to play it again. I don't want to. I don't enjoy it. Whereas Diablo, Diablo 2, I, I played this for literally fucking decades. Actual decades. Because, like, it was a game that I just really fucking enjoyed, you know? I can't really actually say that about many other games, even though I've played a few. I have enough space for a lot of this shit, too. I'm hoarding shit, but I'm refusing to use the shared tabs. So, I've got attack rating, cold resistance 7, and I could do poison damage. I'm trying to keep these, too, for, like, maximum damage later. And also a couple of charms. The maximum damage and the stamina can go to sale. I already that. That's not that great. I will also hydrate. Thank you. And finish my glass of coke. I don't have a lot of water next to me tonight. I um, should try to remember to drink some water. I drank some earlier, but I need to actually finish my drink bottle at some point. Um, we'll stretch out while I sleep. No. I can like all kinds of stretchy and I'm trying to rub my eye. <laughs> Uh, I've been like rubbing my eyes since I woke up. I know I'm not like supposed to leave them the fuck alone, but they're they're just being like scratchy, you know. Like if I take this back, like 
Thanks. I don't know. I like some other things about this game too, like the naming sense. I've said this a few times. Fucking hell, I'm really hurt. Like, they didn't have, like, random name generators and shit back then, so they had to literally think up all the names of everything that they named in this place. Every boss, every, like, uh, dungeon, whatever. Like, it's awesome. As somebody literally sat there and made names for shit, you know? It's it's a cool little detail. At least one thing in here is made by somebody in real world many years ago. In older games are made towards con 